Hi. Hello, Cobrats. Welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I am Trackhide Tamer. Last time, we got a star in all of us come back the first two days there. And now, for day three, land, sea, and sky. Battle enemies. We need Pikmin are your most viable employees. With what little pay they get, only they can lift the bamboo gates, so pamper them by keeping them away from ink, water, bubbles, and danger in general. Water, ice, salt, huh? So what if I constantly send you into danger? Oh, what about it, Mr. President? Day three. Mission Log Day 3, I'm constantly surprised at the number and variety of local life forms. We don't have much choice but to deal with them if we want to recover the parts we need, though. I'll have to devise a plan for safely transporting the part back to base. Clearing a path as I go would be a good start. So yeah, the idea is to get these ship parts few and far between as they may be. You never know with your land, sea, and sky. Get your platinum medals and all that. Sort wisely, defeat those creatures, and these creatures, you don't want to carry them with you, do you? Yeah, it's like kind of a thing, you don't necessarily have to grow up all the bodies, but we're going to get started here in what looks like, you know, the Garden of Hope, I said Forest of Hope. But yeah, we're going to do a little bit of this, in fact, I might do a little bit of a sequence breaky thing if I can remember. It's been a few days since I've done another little practice, but I think I have a general idea of what I want to do, and you don't necessarily have to be so gung-ho about everything. Gonna do a little bit of targeting, gonna do a little bit of that, but then... Something that's a little sequence breaky. There's some wings way over there, not necessarily any clipboard stuff, but get stuff started on working. Then go, I guess, four over there, and then one right there. Then your wing dudes, I gotta get started in pushing you like that. Yeah, pushing you and everything. In fact, I'm gonna call a couple dudes off. Let's do three right there, just uh, let you guys continue working. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just switch over to Louie now, maybe do one body at a time. With the blue Pikmin, freshwater creatures, Louie talks about. I'm gonna get them nice and flowered up over here by the blue onion. The blue boy, Bluey, is gonna take on these blue watery blowhogs. Only thing we really saw a thing for in the formidable oak, but here's a nice little one that's gonna have bodies to work with. Alright. No! I just gonna like call them from afar and spell a few at a time. <laughs> Louie just going around and struggling. Oh yeah, do some punchy time. Gonna get your six remaining and do any further. Yeah, I don't know. Gonna build up my blues a little bit right there before I get super crazy and moving about. Uh, gonna build that a little bit as well. Actually, I'm trying to think how I want to do it. Should carry just fine like that, and maybe I'll even call that guy off and do one, two, and three like that. Maybe the wing Pikmin can just do a little bit of something. I'm gonna maybe automate all of them back right here because everybody's building fine over there, and there's all that going. Gonna get that on the watery blowhog. Come on, you as well, Mr. Flower Dude, to carry it that extra interest cell. Yeah, especially with uh, the small size of everything. Alright, how are we doing on bodies? Uh, we still got a bit more to pick up, so, Olimar, you should automate that a little bit. Don't have to worry about anything being all quaggly in terms of the almighty stop signs preventing you, or the no entry. Like uh, a lot of security people in Japan, they just like do an X symbol to signify no, especially for non yaponazi speakers. Yappin in the Japanese language. Okay, enough uh, messing about. We're gonna clean up a little bit of everything. I think there's a bit more cleaning up I would like to do before going way too far, but I'm already kind of automating myself. I don't need to worry too much. You don't have to worry too much about time, just a matter of getting all the enemies defeated. That's gonna count for your platinum. Uh, I feel like I could have uh, flowered more dudes, but I think it's about as good as we can go. No wall to worry about. Yeah, I'm kind of getting uh, way out of the way, but I think it's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and have Louie plus some wing dudes. Well, Olimar already got a start. It's kind of almost supposed to be your first set of wings there. Uh, how things going? I'm gonna, yeah, definitely could have done faster with all that. Well, that little set of things are built up, but we're gonna have them all get to work. Even though, well, I mean, they're about done anyway. So, let's get you guys flowered up. Hopefully some wings among the deal. Looking like it. Yeah, yeah. Doing nice enough for me. Kind of experimenting with bit rates. I'm doing 15,000 now, when the past episode or so has been uh, 12,000 on recording. Even though I could do like CFR, I don't know. A little bit of stuff I gotta test around with, but... Seems like a 4 minute test came out to be 435 megabits, or megabytes rather. <laughs> Quite the difference. I wish even my upload speed was better than that, but uh... Yeah. Kind of losing my train of thought, but yeah, we got a waddle post to take down after the swooping snitch bugs, and yeah, watch for your wing dudes. But yeah, the idea is like multiply by 8 and get like 3.48 gigabytes after 30 minutes of 32 in this in recording. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to get all these guys saved. Of course, it's blue, so they're not gonna like drown or anything. I don't really want to toss any wing dudes either. Alright, I've got a little thing over here so I can flower up a little bit more. 
Olimar, how are you doing? Uh, and we're plucking. Yeah, I gotta like, call you guys off. Call all you guys, you know. Then I'm gonna automate you a little bit, maybe. I can't really get to too much work on another bridge. But I want to get this nectar egg. Get a few of these dudes. A nest egg, one could even say. Relocation complete. Alright, is everybody good here? I think they are. Yeah. It's like a kind of final-ish challenge that you can kind of see and get an idea of what it's going to be. Uh, do I want to bring Louie over here or over here? Because there are some uh, dudes to work with and some bridge pieces, so I think I'll keep him in the under area. While Olimar goes over here. Not really getting so mobilized because he's like, more started with the bridge. Alright, Mr. Cromad, we're going to bonk you out like that. Come on, there's a bunch of red dudes that should have been a lot faster. I'm just gonna toss one over there, get some more Luffy dudes re flower fied Yeah, re flower fied I'm not gonna bother with that body, but you gotta definitely be prepared for those slooches when they come to be. Gonna swarm right there, make sure no splonking happens. Yeah, don't really wanna worry too much about getting wing bodies taken care of because of those big bad guys that wake up quite easily. Yeah, watch out for those guys that like hop out of the water and grab your dudes. Alright, pretty good over there. So I can automate over here, they're gonna squeeze through everything as it is. I can remember the whole thing about pushing around, but it's never gonna be too much of a problem. Gotta be prepared for that when the time is right. Might even uh, do wing dudes for carrying that, so how about we just do a one, two, three light cell. Did I even get all the wings that were over there? I thought it was like four. It must be three. Or maybe others are working? No. I don't know. Just the ones that I got right there. And even like this, while they go assi, I'm gonna go focus on the slooches over here. Okaska. I feel like I've done faster in various practicings, but uh, over it's enough because it's overhead and no eating to worry about. Just gonna wait for it so I don't have to worry about any sort of whistling situation. Whistly doo da. Alright. All of them are. The rest of your dudes are gonna get all tossed in over there. Work with the rest of them while I go over to Louie. Oh, yeah, of course that happened kind of suspected such a thing. Decent posse of blues. I could always build them up, but eh, 22 is not bad at all. Got a couple uh spuddle dudes, spuddlefish, yeah. Like spuddlepuss, no, it's spuddlepuss. Well, get all this going, and we're going to just focus all of these blues on the bridge pieces. Might even get prepared to call them off once they're putting it right into place. I don't even need to finish the bridge. I can, like, toss a Capitan over. A Capitan being Olimar, while Louis just a lowly employee, but working class is always your friend. Gotta do what you can. Alright, let's uh, do all this. There we go. Get your blues. I'm gonna preemptively get to work on these dudes. Well, I mean, everybody's kinda joining together, so I can just bring all of them all over. But Louis is gonna exert his leadership skills in how we can handle everything. Ah, uh, careful. Come on, come on. Don't get eaten. Uh, even though death doesn't really matter that much. I can definitely focus your reds first, and then it's gonna get the swarm in. Should be just fine. Uh oh. Not sure, so sure about this one. Alright, might have to toss a little bit. Go, 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 go! Oh, yeah, three have been eaten. Uh, pretty much one of every color we have so far. Exactly that case. Yeah. I don't want the stain of death, but uh, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Maybe add a blue to help do your carrying over there. I don't necessarily need to build this much, but yeah, I think I'll just get this body and then uh, finish everything going. Leave those couple bodies there. There's no copad reading of Picklepedia stuff, so you'd have to like go into main story for that, even with Olimar and Louis stuff being playable only in these side modes, you know. Uh, aren't we supposed to have a spray around now, too? Make sure we're all good on enemies. Looks like three left. Yes, indeed. Right there. We're near as a hair. That's just like the gold point. Then there's that, that knocks you up to the platinum. Yeah. This isn't really a place where the time counts up too much, but yeah. Be a little watchful. Wow, we're kind of coming up on 10 minutes on this thing in terms of being in recording. Uh, yeah. There's like no real cutscene stuff, it's just the, uh, log situation, unlike all of my assignment. I mean, comeback might have a little bit of stuff, as we'll come to see. Come back to see at that. Alright, wing dudes are gonna help me knock down these friendo buckos. Yeah. Get your rushing going on. Oh yeah, that's a very nice number pick and work with, and a very nice bug guy Cromad that we're gonna dismiss a very uh, uneven number of dudes to take care of. Come on, just do a little bit of tossing to work with. Be prepared for you to do your stuff and get all twisted over. Hopefully we're walking on well enough. Yeah, it doesn't really matter as long as we just keep on building up speed. Can we one cycle it? Yes, we can, with 350 left. Not bad at all. Of course, I don't really know how this is going to compare to my uh, previous runs. I'm not really paying much attention to the timing. 
Yeah, I did lose three, but it's really not too conducive. Like, it doesn't really even track that much of anything. There's a 700, that's like a fixed score, then your time bonus is what kicks in for the rest of it. A very solid 3,000! New stage available! Yeah, of course, uh, the Captain Boss dude talks about you being your highness because Platinum does make your ro royalty. And, like, if you were to hit gold, you'd be like, Congratulations, General! You've done great about this! So, yeah. There's my normal score right there, and then my ranking data is coming right up. I've gotta bring my phone back to watch myself on the timer. Coming up on 11 minutes, land, scene, and sky. Oh boy. Not too bad there. Even though I could redo for a little bit better time and maybe less to death, and maybe even fewer Pikmin than 69, even though it's very nice. We found the Hokitate ship. Well, part of it. Looks like the ship suffered severe damage, and its pieces were scattered here and there and everywhere. This all feels very familiar. There's no time to wallow in nostalgia. No, nostalgia, go away. We have to recover those parts and get them back to base before the indigenous life in this planet does who knows what with them. The indigenous life, like the Pikmin, or the crazy creatures, because you talk about the Pikmin as the indigenous life in Pikmin 2. Like, that's a game I think about, Pikmin 2, for the word indigenous. First part found, carry the part. Don't bother lifting that ship part until you clear the route back, including bridges. I don't want to see any bite marks on Hokitate Freight property of the president. Alright, day four. Where's it going to take us to? We'll see. Mission log day four, we found the most important part of the ship, the main engine. It's a bit dirty from exposure to the elements, but it should still function. Now to consider how to transport it back to base without any indigenous creatures damaging it. Alright, yeah. It's not quite that long of a thing, we're going to have to find like 30 ship parts. It's just a few to balance things out. I might as well just say that we got 10 days and come back to per episode. To beat those creatures, do that stuff. Yeah, it looks a little bit different than the little piston-y thing in Pikmin 1, which like happens to be the first one you get in Pikmin 1 as well. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do much, or else we can't go home. I'm gonna do a kind of sequence breaker thing, see if I can uh, do a bit of this. Yeah, it's not really gonna help too much. I gotta like, see if you can like, pick up all of them while you're right next to Louis. Yeah, it works right there. Because uh, there's like a lot of things to pick up, but I can go and toss Olimar right there. Hopefully gonna be fine enough. Yeah, it's like trying to settle. Yeah, I don't have to worry about enemies, but you can get plucking going on. We got some electric balls. Electric balls, what? <laughs> electric walls to knock down. Then just single yellow is gonna help me clear a path right here. You can work on its own. In fact, I can just kind of squeeze through. Yeah, work on your other stuff now. I want you to work over there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring Louis up here, and he should automate well enough even as uh, parts apart as these are, like that. It's gonna go along a path, then um, how about like you guys start working like that. Just some fiery blowholes over there, so it's obviously not gonna be a problem on that little bit of a regard. All right, yeah. <laughs> kind of going all over the place trying to remember my best way of practicing, but how are we doing? Yeah, I got that line. We're just gonna work on the rest of them. Then a little slide. I feel like I'm being watching me. Somebody's watching me. I just know it. Haha. <laughs> no, Bully knows. Yeah. It's like actually after the Kopai exploration, and you can tell like uh, the terrain seems to change up a little bit. It's like maybe a little bit of time dilation. I unintentionally made a quip about that in episode one of the LP. Now, do I really want to worry about this so much right now? I mean, I will eventually have to. Okay, call him off before things get bad. But you're scaring me, you joust mite. All right, how well can I handle? Can we do it in little scoopity doo? Don't scour on out. Yeah. I can be doing things a lot faster, but there's a lot of work going on. Um, let's see. Yeah, Louis needs to do some stuff. Yeah, he's already collected uh, the yellows and blues over yonder. So how about Olimar? I'm just gonna have that happen. And then Louis. Are you ready to slide? That's the slide with your yellows and blues. Oh yeah, that yellow's doing quick work over there. It's gonna give me just enough time to get done and flower all these dudes right here, like this. And I hear that bridge is getting finished as well. All right. I definitely want to call those guys over and flower them. I'm not going to pay much mind to the Wally Walls. We should be clearing a path just well enough to get past them by. It sounds like more things are getting finished. More uh, nearby walls. The one that would lead to an Amprat and Beforitude. And I think I will have the 15 blues there. Then a single blue, even though it doesn't really matter going over there. Working on that. Hey, actually detected over. Like, try to be careful. Because we've got something coming up over here. Some bearded Amprats. That's where Britney's cave is, of course. Yeah, see? Kind of different stuff, the way the walls work. It's almost like almost a natural thing, or maybe like some other creatures have been here in and out. It's like, maybe we happen to be here in between times of uh, humans making a weird little resurgence through everything. Yeah, that's about all the farness that the Pikmin can go right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and call things off. I'm gonna be prepared for, oh yeah, we got some red stuff block, I forgot about that. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna have some dudes work right there, like that. Then I'm gonna get a little bit of stuff right here. One of them is gonna be Nectar Puddle, while the other is an Ultra Spicy Nectar Puddle. Ooh! Oh, yes! I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, have you all work on that. Somebody's having trouble there. <laughs> they just had to make some room. Yeah, it could be a bit better with this. In fact, you want to do good on time with this, because it's not a thing about defeating enemies. It's a thing about, uh, you know, uh, being a little bit spectspeditious. Yeah, spectspeditious. And, yeah, here's where I got a achievement before. It was like a little punch at you like this. Yeah. Did some, like, recording tests with this as well. Day four in previous times. And eh, not really too much of a threat those guys are, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go with that, I guess. Even though there's, like, others I could work with. Maybe have, like, one with me. Even though I actually can just squeeze through there. I see, right there. I mean, yeah. All of them are can squeeze through in its own little way. Uh, these little dudes, I'm gonna definitely be prepared for spoopalifying with your nectar. Nectarius. <coughs> Excuse me, Dandelfly. I think I might need a drink, and my water's not with me right now. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna go over there, get a hold on the little injone. Oh, yeah, there's still that single uh, individual thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have you individually work on that. Just be wary of that. I don't need to worry too much over there. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're born and then you get sprayed to Deathland or near death experience. Alright, I'll keep you guys working over there. Plenty of, uh, leafy dudes, but be prepared to flower you guys right here, because, yeah, whenever there's these spot caps and king caps, it's usually from the smaller ones, it's just that the king caps are kind of in your way. Oh yeah, plenty of stuff right here. In fact, uh, we, we can spray whenever we want. It's just that, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not really the most ideal situation. In fact, here's a situation of stuff. I'm not gonna bother too much with that. I might spray you guys at some point. Um, I don't know if, like, you guys go through there. There's other dudes working, so it would be much of that. Well, I mean, we're getting that filled in now. Alright, I guess the blues are gonna be the dedicated carriers. Here's the little bonkaliness of the music. Uh, let's try to get as much carrying. Okay, maybe not. Get to the opposite shore on a distant shore over the tossing seas and all that. I think that's another gel smite there. It's not going to be a problem. Then I could always replay in that blue, but of course it's not an enemy defeating situation. It's got to be quite watchful of everything, but I'm just kind of taking my time. We're only coming up on 18 minutes. I just got to pace myself. Cancel your go here. Alright, I am starving. Of course you are, Louis. I'm just gonna do all that we can. I'm sure Yellow's gonna do muscle work because of shockery. And then we're gonna do all this. Oh yeah, there is Wally Wally, so maybe I should hurry and beat the wall. The wog or something. I think if it dips below six minutes, it'll go down to the next rank, so I probably should do a bit things better. Stuff like, yeah, it's not gonna crush in time. And that flouch might wasn't a problem. Oh yeah, those dudes carrying those sounds like, yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to worry about them. 61. But here's a little bit of stuff to worry about around here. Sheer grubs and crawmads. Alright. Don't you grab my dudes. They're not quite as annoying as they can be in Pikmin 2. Like the whole knock yourself around and probably even do some deflowering because deflowering is not really much of a thing in this game. In too many situations. Alright, hold off on that for a second. Watch for the sheer grub. And the yellow dudes can work over there as well. While I get all slammy. Your slammy salami. In fact... How about, kaboom, this right there. I was kind of confusing it with, uh, uh, Olimar's assignment where you have to fight the baldy long legs right there, so it's not too much of a concern right now. Sure, you guys can carry for all I care, E. Wait, there's a whole, like, other thing up here, though, isn't there? Or maybe not. Maybe I'm also still confusing that with other things, yeah. Like over there, where the bearded amperettes would be before, but, yep. Just a matter of getting the thing back in time, and I guess I still got it in platinum mode. You can, like, take notes and plan things better. I probably didn't even need to go for that thing with the blues. Because I flowered them all up well enough anyway. Or it's not just drive how I'm feeling, your highness. Oh, yes. Get your points nice and well. But not even really watching too much time. Just on the time instead of the points and no pokos to worry about. Alright, uh, do I want to go for next nice rankings? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here, let's see how I rank in terms of everybody else. Only coming up in 20 minutes, so I might do a little something. Like, more Piclopedia reading. Eh, I don't know. All other people obviously do better in the world record 307. Yeah, <laughs> I think I might have seen that speed run. I don't know. Well, I mean, maybe they didn't set it. Like, somebody focusing so much on this particular one. We got one of the parts, but the going won't be easy from here. Louie and I are thinking of splitting up to find a way through the next region. I'll worry about him going off on his own. Maybe there's a way to keep an eye on him from a distance. We'll work it out, I suppose. Or else. 
or else the Presidente will not be very happy mente. Okay, only 20 minutes into this thing, I can make this a shorter episode, but I think I will go into story mode instead of day five and look at a little bit of, you know, Piclopedia stuff. Let's do that. Of course, if you don't want story mode spoilers, even though this is after story mode, do not watch too closely. Okay, I kind of figured a little bit of a thing for reading. Various enemies would be like things relevant to what I've taken on today. It's so, like for one thing, if I can go faster, it would be the fiery blowhog inhaling period when your structural flaw, or you know, just red Pikmin in general, inhaling a little bit of everything. The red Pikmin say external can withstand the heat. Big old nose that is resistant to heat. Oh man, that's kind of a weird connection you can draw. Noses. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Brittany uh, roasted alive, scratched another brilliant idea, getting soaked. Hey, that's not a worry blog, though. And Charlie, mouth shooting those flames, I don't really care. Roast this flavorful beast for several hours, letting it stew in its own succulent juices. Mmm, sounds so good. It's like fried, spicy blowhog pork. <laughs> don't worry about overcooking this beast, it's scorch proof. Haha. <laughs> So it would be kind of hard to cook, so it would probably just remain raw. I don't know. Fiery Blowhog Sustraconos. It sucks it in. Blowhog family spells volatile phosphorus stuff. The spontaneous explosion of a fallen Blowhog. This process is also perhaps to avoid risk of spontaneous combustion in the belly of a live specimen. However, one should still treat a Fiery Blowhog with great care during transfer. Alright. I think likewise I might want to take a gander at a watery Blowhog, wherever it may be. Sometimes it gets out of order based on how things look. It's always showing new for the plasm wraith, oh boy, the final boss. Yep, same old weakness thing about the inhaling period, just gotta focus with different elements of water, you know. Kind of the same situation where they're panicky and you can whistle it to safety. Convince me that the animal is uh, having all kinds of uses. I wonder what the cooking situation is gonna be like. Isn't too bad if you ask me. Give you a nice shower, even though it could be a smelly water from its internals. This beast's unrivaled moistness, ew, gives it a melt in the mouth quality that's incomparable. I'm pretty sure a lot of Louis' entries, if they're something that was from Pikmin 2, it might be kind of similar as well. Like, maybe leftover. Sus Louis, it hawks a Louis on you, so maybe not be uh, very tasty or uh, unsmelly of the water. Variant subspecies of the fiery blue hog, the dominant genes for non flammable liquid and catalyst of jetty tines. Uh, going out for a walk on the jetty and getting your dominant, highly robust population increase going on. <laughs> Just adding words all strangely. I gotta de newify that, even though it's gonna pretty much be the same every time. And with this, next time I'm picking three deluxe, we're gonna keep on going with the pattern and do day five and six of Olimar's comeback. Might have to do a bit more micromanaging and team composition between Olimar and Louis, however best we can. Until next time. Do not toast yourself, and remember, keep on chucking the Pikmin after you pluck them.